The 2024 starting quarterback for the New York Jets is Aaron Rodgers. How nice is it to be heading into an offseason, having confidence in and knowing exactly what you're getting out of your quarterback come September? I'm confident that it will be a massive upgrade over what we've seen over the past decade. With the start of the new league year, legal tampering opened up quietly for the Jets, but late into the night on day one, Joe Douglas made a big move in bringing in Tyrod Taylor. Two-year deal, $18 million. In theory, we now have our QB1 and QB2 locked in for next year. But where does that leave us for 2025 and beyond? Rodgers recently said that he believes he could play for another four years. The Jets need to be smart about this and take a page out of the Packers playbook. Draft a QB to sit behind the Hall of Fame quarterback. All right, so as we all know, we don't have a second round pick in the 2024 season because the Aaron didn't play enough time to upgrade that pick to the Packers from a second to a first. So because of the trade and because of his injury, we don't have a second round pick. But that means our first round pick has a lot of weight behind it. We have to draft either a starting tackle still, a shiny new wide receiver possibly of Garrett Wilson, or dare I say Brock Bowers with that pick. With one of our late round picks, Joe Douglas must address the QB of the future. We're not going to end up with Caleb Williams. We're not going to end up with Drake May or Jaden Daniels, but that doesn't mean our QB of the future isn't still out there. It's a loaded QB class, and there are some very talented, talented guys that could fall in the later rounds to us. The first guy on my list is Spencer Rattler. Rattler is easy, one of the most storied QBs in this year's draft. He was involved in a series of QB dominoes that resulted in him losing the starting job in Oklahoma to Caleb Williams. After that, he switched and would eventually transfer to the University of South Carolina, where he seemed to mature and settle down a little bit compared to his years in Oklahoma. Heading into the draft season, Rattler was at the Senior Bowl. He was the Senior Bowl MVP. And you know what Joe Douglas and the Jets love, it's guys that perform at the Senior Bowl. Think Jermaine Johnson, Ruckert, and Will McDonald. Rattler is still projected as a day three pick. He has great arm talent and is an older prospect at 23. I think his age and maturity could prove beneficial should the Jets draft him to learn behind Aaron Rodgers. Prior to his season-ending injury, Jordan Travis had the Florida State Seminoles looking like a lock for the college football playoffs. While a bit undersized, Travis really developed into a pocket passer in his final year at FSU. But he's not afraid to extend plays with his legs when needed. Travis has yet to be fully cleared coming off a devastating ankle injury. Depending on how he looks once cleared, he has the potential to rise quickly in the draft or stay as a day three pick as currently projected. Travis is a really good decision maker with the potential to be a good passer in the NFL. With his undersized frame and a major injury during his final year at FSU, durability is a major concern of mine with Travis, especially with the speed and power of edge rushers that he's going to encounter in the NFL. Next, we have Michael Pratt out of Tulane. Pratt seems like everyone's favorite developmental QB this year, and I agree. Pratt is probably best suited as a pocket passer in the NFL, but he does lack some arm strength compared to others in his class. He has a high football IQ and really developed as a prospect over his four years at Tulane. Pratt's play immediately benefited from the success of Tyree Spears at Tulane, showing that in the right system with a strong run game, he may be successful in the NFL. Pratt seems like the kind of guy that Joe Douglas would love to bring to the Jets, and I believe Aaron Rodgers is the perfect QB for him to learn behind. Another solid option as a late rounder could be Sam Hartman from Notre Dame. Hartman recently turned heads at the Combine after Chris Carter called him the best looking guy there. Could the Jets draft the next Jimmy Garoppolo into the league? A QB that looks like America's next top model would certainly sell in New York City. In all seriousness though, Hartman does seem like a good option for the Jets. He's a very mature prospect with over six years of college football experience and had one of the most productive college careers of all time. He does not have the strongest arm of all the prospects, and he is much older than the other QBs. He's 25, and in the best case scenario, he wouldn't be playing for the Jets until he's 29, maybe 30 years old. Some people are even saying Hartman may go undrafted due to his lack of lower body mechanics. I think there are much better prospects in late rounds that will be available for the Jets. Finally, I think there is a sneaky good QB coming out of Western Kentucky University, and that's Sam Reed. 
Reed is a former D2 national champion and transferred to Western Kentucky for his final two seasons. Even with just two seasons at WKU, he is second in career touchdown passes and third in passing yards at that school. Reed was a successor to Bailey Zappi, who lit up the NCAA records during his time there. Reed has a rifle of an arm and played with a very pass-faced college offense. He is well-built, standing at 6'2", 220 pounds. Reed may be the perfect prospect to sit behind Aaron Rodgers for a few years and learn his system. I am not 100% sure if our QB of the future is in this draft, but it is something Joe Douglas must be thinking about, especially if he will be the GM long-term. We should enjoy the privilege of Aaron Rodgers being our quarterback while we can, but his tenure here is limited given his age. We must plan for the future, and there is nobody better to develop a prospect behind than Aaron Rodgers. Unlike the mistakes made with Zach Wilson, we have a competent backup behind Aaron Rodgers. Anybody that we draft is going to be QB3 and will be able to sit the majority of the 2024 season. I think that's the key to success in the NFL.